Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, welcome to the forest, as you can see. I'm here with Dastan, as you can also see. It's a bit bittersweet, because it's a really nice time to be out in the forest, but I also should have been flying to Spain today. Um, today I was due to fly uh, with my family, and uh, unfortunately I had to kind of pull out because uh, a close contact of mine got COVID. Instead, I'm here with Dastan, um, looking after him for a bit. And uh, yeah, we came out to the forest today on our lovely walk. He's clearly enjoyed himself by getting in loads of muddy puddles. Um, and we came out to take some photos. So um, yeah, that's just kind of the plan. Right, should we carry on? I'm actually quite a fan of the composition right behind me here. Um, so I'm gonna set up the camera on the tripod as it is now and just put on a self timer and kind of walk across and hopefully I get myself in focus. I might need to use manual focus to do that because sometimes the focus doesn't really work properly, but hey, um, that should be quite a nice shot. I like how the ground is still all orangey because obviously it's autumn, um, but the trees are still quite green. So we're gonna get that nice contrast. And it's a nice soft day as well. So um, there isn't a lot of harsh light coming in. It might have been nice because forest shots can look really nice with the harsh light coming through, but we just go with what we got. I've come here so many times and every time I get new photos. Because um, you can come throughout the seasons, you can come different times of day. There's literally so many different opportunities and the forest just keeps changing. I just, yeah, I love taking photos in forests. It doesn't get old really, at least for me. Yeah, right. It's probably time we head home. I've now had a chance to have a look at all the photos, edit a few. Um, I didn't mention this in the video, but I did also send up my drone. So let's start with that first photo. Um, this is taken on my DJI Mini 2. I sent it up above the forest that I was walking through uh, to see if we could get any of those orange colors from the sky. And um, there are a few, there's still a bit of green tint in there a little bit. I've kind of adjusted the colors a little, a little bit just to add a bit more awesome. Uh, into there and I'm pretty happy with this. I should have done a panoramic kind of stacking uh, which is where you take multiple photos and then merge them together um, because the quality of the DJI Mini 2 camera isn't quite uh, as high as I'd like it to be. I really like to um, put together stories or kind of sets of images that really work well together um, and so often when I'm walking around the forest I'll take photos of little details because I think little details around the forest uh, can really complement larger, wider shots. So I've got a couple shots of kind of these interesting details in some of the trees um, and like all the textures and the shapes and weird, there are some really strange trees in there. But um, yeah, I think they make for some pretty interesting photos. Standalone by themselves, they're probably not, um, you know, standout photos, but I think they work really well as a set of images to kind of tell a story. This shot I really like, I've got it in both portrait and landscape. And I really like the landscape one. Um, I think that tree that's lying along the ground um, really complements kind of the scene. It kind of frames up a little bit as well. And uh, I just love how tall and thin the trees are. It's almost like it really acts as a nice background. Um, and I'm just in there for kind of subject interest. 
uh, just to add a bit more context to a scene. I then put that photo along with the drone shot and the detail shots all together in a kind of three stack, which I really like doing on Instagram. It's just a nice way of kind of telling a story within your photos, adding multiple details from a scene. I then came across this tree which was lying across the ground uh, and I thought it was a great um, idea for a shot. So I just kind of went, um, I set the self timer again and took another self-portrait. I thought this fallen tree also gave a great opportunity to kind of tell a bit more of a story about the scene. So I've got that wide shot where I'm sat down on the tree and then I went to go take some closer up shots of like the bark and some of the leaves and there was one kind of section where it had been cut out and there was this one little green leaf that was still left. All the rest of them were the dead orange leaves. And I thought that made for a nice contrast. And then once again I put those three images together um, to form another one of these kind of triple sets. If you've been following me on my Instagram, you would have already seen this. I think it's a great way to tell a story within a scene or just show off more aspects in a large, um, wider photo. Um, and yeah, it's one of my favorite things to do when I'm out taking photos. So that's about it for me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe. Make sure to follow my Instagram so you can see all of my photos. They usually go up there before you see them in the videos. I really appreciate all your support and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.